Can you let in some light? I'm trying to read. Oh, sure. Do you want a terrarium that likes direct sunlight, has no condensation issues, lower risk of mold, and is perfect for socials to show off you're a cool plant person? Isn't that what you do? Then the open terrarium is right for you. Today we have three open glass containers. Our trusty small grain lava rock. Our soil mix made out of perlite, pine bark, peat moss, and sand. Silica sand to add a top dressing, a spray bottle with filtered water. I wanted to use these Hamtaro, Anya, and Bulbasaur minis, but they're not here yet. So I'm going to put these Kodama upside down, like they got lost in the desert for the time being. And introducing our succulents. We take our open glass and create a drainage layer using our black lava rock. Now we add in the soil mix. Remember that elevated grade for more surface area and room for our roots. We now unpot each succulent and remove as much excess soil as we can. If you have to be more forceful with removing the soil, you can do so. Create a hole that's deep enough for the succulent to be fully placed. Now we add in our top dressing to cover the soil completely, and our little finishing touches with the Kodama. Well, that's so easy. Not so. And here's why. <laughs> Direct sunlight is great for a succulent, but can require some training. Start with a couple hours on the first day, increasing by an hour for each subsequent day until your plant can withstand a full daylight cycle. With a grow light, 12 to 14 hours of direct light a day will do well. You want to let your succulent rest for at least 24 to 48 hours before even attempting to water. Succulents do not like their leaves being wet, as this will cause them to rot. This means direct misting isn't an option. So we opt for a low flow of poured water across a large surface area. Do not overwater your succulent. The roots will die. The plant will die. It will die. Only when the soil is completely dry. I'm talking dry, no moisture. Since we have our top dressing in place, I like to place a toothpick in multiple locations to get a good gauge on the moisture level. If the succulent starts to shrivel, with leaves wilting downwards, it's probably time to water. As open terrariums are exposed to open air, they can get a bit dusty. Try using a cloth with filtered water to do some light cleaning, as well as a paintbrush to clean the top dressing. If you see very significant changes in your overall succulent health, diagnose for bugs and treat accordingly. We did it! Congratulations on your new addition to your terrarium family. As always, if I missed anything, had a comment or a question, let me know. You know I'm more popular than you are on here, right? Yeah. Till next time, friends. Wakareda. しなりいろいろ伝えておくよ。